I don't blame them because they were thought this is wrong. Drag queen Carmen Rose used to perform regularly in Malaysia until a police raid last year put an end to their act. Since the raid, during which several partygoers were arrested, Rose has stopped doing shows and rarely ventures out in public in costume. They're not educated about people like us. Um, they see us as sexual deviants or they see us as someone who is a sinner, as if they don't sin at all. Islamists are rapidly gaining political clout in Malaysia. Rights groups told Reuters that LGBTQ communities have faced increasing scrutiny and discrimination since Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim entered office in last November's general election, despite his reputation as a progressive reformer. Queer Malaysians say they are now being persecuted more actively than under previous administrations. Analysts say Anwar is under pressure to bolster his Islamic credentials among the Muslim majority in the face of an increasingly popular ultra-conservative opposition. Malaysia's opposition bloc includes Islamist party PAS, which promotes a strict interpretation of Sharia law and opposes LGBTQ rights. Former Premier and leader of the conservative Muslim opposition, Mayuddin Yassin, said adopting an LGBT-supportive policy would be destabilizing for Malaysia. My Islamic teaching that I have in me, being a Muslim, I cannot accept it. But you can argue, but sir, this is a democracy, this is where everybody has got the right to do Yeah. But to adopt it as a policy to say we have to agree to LGBT is going to be, I would say, destabilizing. Sodomy is a crime in Malaysia, which also has Sharia laws banning same-sex acts and cross-dressing in its dual-track legal system, which implements Islamic laws for Muslims alongside civil laws. Although Anwar never expressed support for LGBTQ rights, activists say they expected him to show more tolerance as he advocated for an inclusive society during his 25 years in opposition. You know, the discrimination that is taking place, uh, uh, the, the discrimination against LGBT people cannot be seen just as uh, something that is just affecting us, but must be located within like, the growing extremism, the growing like, impunity that we are seeing and all of that. Some analysts say Anwar's uncompromising stance on LGBTQ rights stems from a desire to wipe out doubts about his own sexuality, which surfaced after he was jailed for nearly a decade for sodomy. Anwar has repeatedly said the charges were fabricated and politically motivated, but some political opponents still question his Islamic values. Amid all of this, Rose lives in fear of reprisals if their identity is discovered, and alongside their friends, has considered fleeing Malaysia to seek asylum elsewhere. We are not deviants, we are not doing any harm to anyone, we're just, you know, being ourselves and I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to be happy.